but we still count calories from protein, but we shouldn't because your body has no ability to store protein as body fat, which is why when you eat a ton of protein, your body temperature goes up. It's the thermogenic effect of overeating you know, how much uh, protein your body can use, Interesting. but it can't be stored. Again, a lot of truth sprinkled in with a lot of very polarizing language and vernacular mm -hmm. that your body has no ability to store protein as body fat. Is that true? Yes. What he doesn't account for is a process called gluconeogenesis. Mm -hmm. Glucone Which is a term I learned literally in the comments on this post. <laughs> yeah. The fact of the matter is, if I were to eat 2,000 calories a day and burn 1,500 calories a day, and I was meeting my maximum protein needs, well, the rest of the, that energy has to go somewhere. If I only needed 150 grams of protein because that's what my body broke down in amino acids, cellular tissue, muscle tissue for my workout, once I max out those needs, that energy has to go somewhere. Hmm. So if I'm at a 500 calorie surplus, I burned 1500, I ate 2000 or 2000 to 3000 is more realistic for me. That protein will either be excreted in your urine or your waste, or our body undergoes a process called gluconeogenesis where we convert amino acids into sugar carbohydrates because our brain does need glucose to function. Mm -hmm. It absolutely is essential for, for cognitive function. So it will deliver in kidneys will convert excess amino acids to sugar. And once the glycogen stores in your liver, kidney and mother, your liver and muscles are full, then the potential for fat storage is there because it's excess energy. There's mm. a reason we carry this stuff around. We need it for starvation, periods of feast and famine. And so yeah. he fails to account for that in the research. If, if you were to just eat 200 grams of protein a day and that maxed out your protein needs mm -hmm. at 150, that excess energy has to go somewhere. And there's research to show that that can be stored as body fat. Is it an yeah. efficient process? No. Is it less likely? Yes, but it's still possible. So what he's saying is technically accurate, meaning the protein itself is not stored as body fat. Technically accurate. But the protein does get converted into glucose, which then can be stored as fat if it's not exercised out or excreted through urine or something That's like exactly that. That's exactly right.